welcome back to my channel. I am Jules Julie, and I'm so excited slash nervous slash anxiety. Ugh. So I just finished watching Jane, well not fully, not fully. I watched almost above more than half of James Charles' video. And hello, it was so like, <gasps> I didn't want to finish watching it because I didn't want to see the ending of the results, but so far, so freaking good and so freaking crazy. Alphabet makeup challenge. And literally, you're putting your makeup, like, what do you do on a daily basis, in order. Mine is everywhere around. I saw James Charles, and his is kind of everywhere around. But when you put it in ABC order, it's like... I was just like, wow, I can't believe it. By any means, let's get to this video. Now, this is basically how I do my makeup, and this is the order that I do. I always moisturize my face, right? Then I do primer, my foundation... Concealer, powder, contour, blush, highlight. I do my eyebrows, my eyeshadow. Then I do my eyeliner or liquid liner, depending on which one I'm doing. And then I do um, mascara, lipstick, or mascara, lashes, then lipstick, chapstick. Sometimes I even put chapsticks on and lipstick. And then I set my whole face. Ah, I don't know. I'm kind of like nervous. Of doing this because I literally just wrote the ABC literally and then I started writing each thing down so by any means let's get started to this video it's gonna be a challenge and hey guys try it out why not it's literally one of the most funniest videos out there and again this credit goes to James Charles I'm kind of a little bit nervous I have my mirror I kind of like set up everything already and I'm kind of like talking too much and I know that I'm getting freaking nervous and everything but let's get to this video and let's get to it. So A, I don't have anything for A, so we're moving on to B. Now B is baking and blush. So B, let's start off with our baking. So I'm going to grab my baking powder and we're just going to bake our face. Oh, this is so weird. You know what? I actually bake my face when I don't have any makeup on, just so I won't be oily. So I've done this before. It wasn't that bad. I kind of went a little bit over, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> woo, this is so weird. Next, we're going to move on with our blush. Now, I don't really wear a lot of blush, but today we're going to be using this baby right over here. And this is from Benefit Cosmetics. And let's grab a blush brush. Okay. And we're going to go in in our dandelion. And we're just going to apply blush. Alrighty now. So we are all blushed out so another one of the letter b's is bronzer bronzer so we're gonna bronze up as you can tell i already started bronzing up i kind of like skipped the whole set i'm gonna go ahead again going into my hula light and the og hula we're just gonna bronze our face up this is also the way that i also contour so technically it's like bronzer slash contouring so uh i'm gonna do this twice because I really don't bronze up, so yeah. Oh, this feels so wrong. All right, so we're gonna remove the rest of our powder. You know, it doesn't look that bad. It looks like I have natural, beautiful skin. Just kidding. All right, now here comes the weird part, which is concealer. Ah! I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tarte Shape Concealer. Um, let's see if this one is my light medium. This is what I'm gonna clean my brows with literally all right basically we're like carving our brows and we're just gonna use our fingers all right now we're looking pretty crazy we're gonna start concealing our under eye grabbing the beauty blender this is a dry beauty blender because i figured what's the point of even wetting it <sighs> let's start and i did see that james charles that this thing like super set in but we're trying to avoid that Oh, this was way too light. Ah, damn it. What color was this? Ah. OMG, this is way too light. It's neutral. It's light neutral. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll be fine. We will be fine because foundation should be near right around the corner. Oh, OMG. This literally has set already. Oh no. 
Okay, we're looking pretty crazy now. I'm gonna go ahead and contour one more time because the first one was blush and now we are contouring. Oh Lord. All right, we're looking like a pretty ghost mess. Moving on is the letter D and I have nothing for the letter D. So we're gonna go on with E. Now E, I have eyeshadow, eyeliner, and eyebrows. We're gonna finally look a lot better. So we're gonna start off with our eyebrows because why not, right? I'm gonna be using this one from Maybelline. This is a tattoo studio. I am like so ready to get rid of this makeup and wash it off. But you know what? We're gonna give the benefit of the doubt and we're gonna hope for the best. All right, all right. She's looking kind of surprised, but that's cool. Alrighty now, so we have our eyebrows done. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Tarte palette, the Tartlet palette, and um, let's go ahead and do something light. Something light, something light. Let's grab Smarty Pants and just put it, wow, this looks, wow, okay. Whew. All right, not bad, not bad. Then we're gonna go ahead and use, let's go ahead and get some Rebel on our eyelids. All right, now, and then we're gonna go ahead and use Firecracker in the middle of our lids. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab Funny Girl and put it in our inner. This is kind of hard when you got some long claws. All right, now, now that we have this going on, we're gonna go ahead and up our little. We're gonna apply on our eyeliner. I'm kind of like a little uh, like uh, like I like I am really really nervous. Because so far, I do not like the outcome. Ugh. Okay, eyeliner. All right, moving on. Once we have our eyeshadow, our eyeliner, and our eyebrows, we are good to go with the letter F, which is foundation. Let's let's do this. So I have my milk makeup one, which we're going to shake it up. Oh, no, I think it's too dark. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, that looks actually pretty freaking good. I forgot how much I like my milk makeup. Ooh, that looks so freaking good. <gasps> okay. Uh, all right, all right. I love the lum the luminosity that, that milk makeup gives. Like, I absolutely love it. It's, like, my go-to one. I like haven't been using it because I haven't been like really 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 going out but OMG oh wow I okay so far I'm liking it next we're moving on to our highlighter and for highlighter where's my highlighter oh for highlighter I'm using Maybelline and this one is the molden peach alrighty so now that we are all highlighted ugh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our lipstick and eyeliner and lashes. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with our eyeliner. On, now we're gonna go ahead and do some lip liner. All right, so we're letting the lash glue dry. Well, let's do this. So we're gonna do the moisturizer as this is drying. Again, we're not cheating because I'm gonna put the mascara after I put on the lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my moisturizer and just apply like that we're gonna blend it out on our hand and we're just gonna apply this on oh wow this feels so raw ah uh, it's literally lifting up my foundation ah i totally forgot to apply lipstick so we're gonna apply lipstick on as we let this dry already now after we did the end part, we're gonna be doing mascara right now. This part isn't that bad because I actually put mascara before and after I put on eyelashes. So it's not like a biggie. Then moving on after mascara, we're gonna be doing primer. Ah! Okay. Okay, primer it is. We are almost done. We're gonna apply the primer behind our hand. And for primer, I just usually always put on my T-zone. So for our T-zone, that is our nose, forehead. All right, now we have that. I usually let that set in, but we're gonna go ahead and put on powder now. So for powder, I do the same thing. I go ahead and I grab my Aerospong. Then I have my powder brush, and we're just gonna, whew. 
We're just gonna powder away. Alrighty now, let's do this. Alrighty now, I look hella white. Last but not least is a setting spray. Now I'm gonna be using the Jaspone Creates the setting spray. I love this one. This one's really tacky. It is a setting spray. And then we're going to also put in our Morphe one, which I absolutely love. This one it sounds empty. Might need to open another one up. Alrighty now, let's do this. Mm. And then we're going to go ahead and put on this one where we're at it. Oh, okay. This is so weird. Then we're going to grab the Beauty Blender because I actually do press this into my face. And this is basically it. OMG. I don't think so. It came out bad. But, I mean, it's the craziest thing ever. I don't feel like I did a bad job. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? I mean, I need some glow and some contour going on. I mean, my under eyes are pretty bright out. Definitely, let's just zoom in so you can see better. Definitely right over here, I have like a missing patch because I have acne. Then here, my pores are like hella, hella out. And then you could definitely see a lot. You could definitely see a lot of like the makeup accumulating there and here and here. Look at this. I could see some of the bronze coming out. But overall, I feel like I did a really good job. I mean, definitely my nose is not even contour at all. In fact, it looks like it's just big. It's not even contour. But I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks to James Charles for starting off this challenge. And I challenge you guys. Try it out. Do a record it. Put your link down below so I can check it out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So every time I upload, you guys will know. And I mean, I mean, I think I did a pretty good job. So I'll see you in my next video.